going on, Dolph fans? Uh, it is your boy Dylan, and I am coming to you today. Uh, I got a little news for you. It's still early in the day. It's Monday, uh, so it's possible, um, you know, more things may happen. But uh, there was a roster move made today, a signing made today so far uh, that I wanted to get uh, out to you guys to let you know about. And so it looks like the Dolphins have signed ex-Browns wide receiver Ricardo Lewis, who apparently didn't play at all last year, uh, and so on and so forth. So there you have it. Look, so I just want to say something about, uh, like, you know, some of these signings or whatever. So look, man, <clears throat> I mean, you can take it for what you will, um, you know, you can evaluate it how you see fit and you could read between the lines if you need to whatever you know whatever uh but when i look at some of these signings right and, and especially when you compare it to all the guys that we've been losing like we're just bleeding out you know talent and leadership and you know so on and so forth and we're basically just picking up like these you know bargain bin you know guys i mean when you sign like you know a chris reed who's been basically just a backup his entire career when you sign um you know a michael dunn who didn't even play in the nfl and who was you know just an aaf guy who you know that league doesn't even you know didn't even last very long uh same thing with that one quarterback um that they were looking into um troy williams i think it was um you know he didn't play at all last year and the last time he played was at utah state never even played in the nfl right um so here's the thing right here's the thing about bargain bin and all this stuff one the good side is is all these guys are generally going to be pretty cheap for the most part and um you know so they're not really going to have a lot of cap, you know, uh, or high cap hits. But, uh, yeah, I mean, they're not exactly going to inspire a lot of confidence that we're going to be competitive. I mean, look, dude, it's like it's like if you went, you know, like if you did all of your shopping at, um, you know, garage sales and the salvation army like if that's where you go to get like you know your clothes and uh you know your vacuum and you know shit like that like you're gonna literally go to you know yard sales and stuff like that to to procure your your stuff i mean it's it's the equivalent like you're not getting very good quality i mean a lot of these guys up until now weren't even good enough to play in the nfl right but we have so many holes and the aaf failed and you know so on and so forth so like anyway whatever um that's really all i wanted to say about it um like i said i mean there's a good side in that we're not going to probably be spending oh but here's the thing though so they bring in ricardo lewis which so you know a wide receiver again you know one of the position groups where we need the least amount of help you know tight ends wide receivers where we need the least amount of help um but they bring in another guy but they're not filling you know more important holes they choose to fill him now there has been questions on whether there have been questions and rumors on whether or not kenny stills is going to stay um and there was even a report um today that i saw where you know uh somebody i guess had talked to him or whatever and, and he even even said that it's crossed his mind that he could not you know that he might not be in miami still and and with the way that they've been going i wouldn't be surprised if the signing of ricardo lewis um ends up with him being you know released or whatever which i think would be absolutely stupid and foolish but i certainly wouldn't put it past them you know to this point with how they've carried on so uh keep an eye out for that um you know and and see how that all plays out and progresses i mean it's another body in camp and stuff you know and and it doesn't i don't know whatever look i mean it is what it is this team this team obviously like i i just don't see how anybody could look at the things that they're doing and say that they're really trying like i mean it's pretty obvious that they, you know, are not trying very hard. 
they're I mean it's pretty obvious to me they ain't doing shit so but anyway that's all I got for you guys I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here I hope you guys enjoy my videos if you do make sure you hit the subscribe button make sure you hit the like button make sure you hit the bell if you want to get the alerts leave your questions comments and concerns down in the comment section and as always make sure you follow me on Twitter at Dylan Tartero and with that I am out I'll see y'all soon fins up